What is going on guys, this is Kyle from the Shadow Realm TCG and today I'm going to be bringing you my wind up deck profile for February 2019. Uh, the reason I thought of this video was because of our buddy Wind Up Magician coming back to 3, finally. Uh, it's It's been a while I've heard. Um, I, I haven't had this deck for that long, but it was a pretty favorite, it's, it's a favorite of mine um, in the casual sense. And uh, it's just a really fun deck to experiment with a bunch of different engines because that's kind of what, at least what I do, is I put I put like a few engines in here. And uh, so far it's been working out very well and it is very fun. And with the third um, Wind Up Magician, the deck is a bit more consistent now. So that's also very awesome. But without further ado, let's get right into it then. Oops. So we'll start with the monster lineup. First, we have our three wind-up magician. I don't have the third one yet, but I am gonna get it. Don't worry, you know, hold your horses. But um, so basically, before we go any further, all the wind-ups have effects that can only be used once while they're face up on the field. So that's different from once per turn because with once per turn, if it stays on the field and you know survives to your next turn, you can use it again. Where in this case, you can't. Uh, however, there are some additional perks to this because um, if you flip them face down and then face back up, you can use their effect again. And if they're sent to the graveyard and you bring them back with Monster Reborn or other ways, um, you can use their effects again. So, uh, really cool. Um, all the windups, well, most of them, uh, well, at least the two that are very important, trigger when the effects just are activated. Like, they don't even have to resolve. So in the case of Wind-Up Magician, um, if a Wind-Up Monster's effect is activated, you can Special Summon one level 4 or lower Wind-Up right from your deck in defense position. So well, this is pretty crazy because it's basically just a mini Summon Sorceress. So that's why he was he's pretty good and um, obviously he was part of the old hand loop back in the day with the Xyz, which is still banned and probably won't become unbanned while this guy's at 3. So. Anyway, that's why you play three of him, and he's a level four, so that helps with our Xyz plays. A lot of this deck, or a lot of the extra deck, is Xyz, so. And next we go to the, probably the second most important card, the three wind-up shark. So this guy is the easiest to summon. Um, a wind-up monster has to be normal or special summoned, and you can just special summon him right from your hand. Uh, that is not once per turn, so if you have multiple sharks, you can um, special summon multiples. And his effect is very awesome while he's on the field. Um, it can only be used once, and you can change his level um, either up one or down one. So he can be a level three, a four, or a five. Um, so that's really, really cool because with that, since it's an easy level four, we have a lot of awesome rank fours. We also have a few good rank fives, and we don't have any rank threes, but if you wanna try playing Break Sword, you can probably put him in here somewhere. Um, at least that's what I would put in here because it works very well with our Wind Up Rat, which is the level three. And what Wind Up Rat does is you can activate his effect by targeting a Wind Up monster in your graveyard. Uh, you switch him to defense position and you special summon the Wind Up um, also in defense position. So um, he's just a little monster reborn. Um, and he, he's really good, especially with the Link monster, which we'll get into in a little bit. Next we have the one wind up kitten. Uh, kitten's more of a control card and it's um, pretty easily searchable, um, especially with wind up magician. All it does is you target a monster your opponent controls and you just bounce to their hand. So if your opponent has some really dumb extra deck monsters, you can just bounce them right to the deck. So that's pretty cool. And the last one is the one wind up warrior. He's, he's an okay normal summon uh, if you really need it, but you mostly use him because he can also modulate levels. Uh, you can target a wind-up you control, you can increase its level by one and its attack by 600. So, um, pretty good. So he can also be a level five or you can make uh, wind-up rat a level four um, if you really need that. Other than that, he's just another name, mostly. So that does it for the wind-ups, uh, all the ones we play. Um, you can try playing Rabbit. Again, Rabbit's also very good, but I just couldn't find room. So next, here's the first engine we're going to be introducing here, the Symphonic Warrior Package. 
So this consists of a guitar and mic. So what guitar does is you put him in uh, your, his pendulum effect is you can discard a card and then special summon one Geet, um, Symphonic Warrior uh, right from your deck except Guitar. Um, his other effect doesn't matter. Um, the only effect that's the only effect that matters because uh, Mike's or I get yeah it's it's Mike's. Um, what his effect is is when he's normal or special summoned, you can you gain an additional normal summon this turn. So it's kind of like a mini Seraphonite. And other other than that, he is a machine and he's level five. So that really helps. Um, well, it mostly helps that he's level five. But um, I have another version of this deck that I will show you. Um, that I haven't play tested too much with, so the Cyber Dragon engine you can also experiment with in this build, and he is very good with that. So, speaking of Cyber Dragon, we have the two Pancratops. This is just a really good card um, for any rogue deck, really. It's just an easy special summon, it's a big body, and it pops cards. So, uh, it's a level 7, so you don't really use it for XE's plays, but it's just still an overall good card. And the whole point of this deck is to special summon from your hand. Anyway, next we have the two Summoner Monk. Um, kind of an older card here, but um, this card's really awesome. So what he does is you can discard a spell and then special summon one level four monster from your deck, but it cannot attack. Uh, that is once per turn. Uh, it's really good because he is also a level four. So you mainly use this either to get Wind Up Shark or your Wind Up Magician. Uh, whichever one you need. If you have Shark in your hand and you use Summoner Monk to use Special Summon out Wind Up Magician, you can get the Shark. Um, however, and um, Monk doesn't negate the effects either. So if you get Shark out with um, your Magician on the field, you can then use Magician's effect to Special Summon right from the deck. So uh, it's a really, really awesome combo and you play tons of spells. So this is pretty easy to pull off. Uh, this next card is kind of like a hidden treasure, in my opinion, and honestly, I've been experimenting with it, and it's been working out so far. It's just, it's just this random common from Soul Fusion, and that is Watch Cat. If you control enough, if you control no monsters, you can just plop it right from your hand. When it's special summoned, well, during the end phase, if this card was special summoned, uh, you can banish it and then um, set one continuous spell directly from your deck. So. Um, this mainly just searches out your wind-up continuous spell, the one that is very good and you really need it to, for the deck to really blow up. So that's he's just another searcher. Um, so like those are just like the small two ofs um, that you can play. All those slots really you can just add extenders, whichever ones you want. Uh, for the one of extenders, we got the one goblin berg. Um, uh, it's because he requires a normal summon, but he just gets another one right out of your hand, so that's really good. Next, the Silent Angler. Uh, this card's really interesting. Um, what it does is you can just special summon it right from your hand if you control a water monster. And as you may have figured out, uh, your wind-up shark is water, so you can special summon him right out. He's a level 4. Um, his only downside is that you can't special summon for the rest of the turn from the hand uh, once you do that. So. Make sure he's your last card. And finally, the one rescue cat. Um, I don't know if I'd bump this up. I just had one and I realized it was pretty good because it can get out wind up rat directly from the deck, um, two of them, so that you can go right into the wind up um, link monster. So, and of course, if you have a shark in your hand, that's just an added bonus. So those are the um, that's that's it for the monsters. So let's move right on to the spells. So here is that one continuous spell that I said that you basically need, and that is Wind Up Factory. So Factory, what it does is it's basically your main searcher. So uh, once per turn, if the effect of a Wind Up is activated, you can add one level four or lower Wind Up monster from your deck to your hand. So this is a really easy way to search out all of your sharks and all of your magicians, which are the more important power plays uh, for the deck. So, and that's only once per turn. So if you have like two on the field, you can search two cards. So it's just a really awesome card to have. Next you have and the three Zen Mail function. Uh, this is just a non once per turn monster reborn specifically for windups. However, 
they go in defense position, uh, their effects are negated, and they can't be used as synchro material, um, which doesn't matter because we don't play any synchro, so that's fine. The only downside is that it doesn't have windup in its name, so it is not searchable, unfortunately. Anyway, now for the two ofs, we got the two called by the grave. Uh, it's just like a generic power card, to be honest. Uh, this one's an interesting spice, some interesting tech here. We got the two pinpoint landing. I literally had five of these lying around and I was looking for a deck to put them in and this one was the one because um, it, it, it works really well in decks that special summon from the hand a lot. Um, basically, when you special summon exactly one monster from your hand, you can draw a card. So it's a little upstart goblin, but not really. Um, and it's, its downside is that during the end phase, if you didn't special summon one monster from your hand, or either that, or I think if you didn't draw a card from this effect, you just send it to the graveyard. Or it sends itself to the graveyard. So if you don't use it, you lose it, basically. And as for more draw power, we have the controversial pot desires. I know a lot of people hate this card, but personally the draw power is just way too good to pass up, so I can't I can't not play it. And since you have your three windup magician now, um, you have a less you have less of a chance of um, banishing all of them. You know, you, all your important windups are at three, so it's not bad to run. Now for the one ofs, the monster reborn, just good card. The one regeki, I don't see a lot of people playing this anymore. Um, but, you know, this is kind of just a small, casual rogue deck, so I'm going to play it. And the one scapegoat, because I used to play two, but I can't anymore, so now I just play one. Um, if it doesn't work out, and if it doesn't work out anymore, I'm probably going to take it out for something else, but I don't know now. And finally, for the two traps, we have the two bottomless trap hole, just, to, just for some control, really, and to um, stop. Stop dumb things, basically. So yeah, that does it for the ex or the, <laughs> the main deck. Uh, there's no sideboard because you know, I can't make a sideboard for everything, but anyway, right on to the extra deck. This is where the fun begins. For your link monsters, you have your two wind-up Zen Maintenance. Um, it only requires two wind-ups, so it's fairly easy to get out, especially with Rescue Cat. Um, if it's Link Summoned, you can add one wind-up card directly from your deck to your hand. So you can search anything, very powerful. Um, its other effect is really good, especially in wind-ups. So basically, um, you banish one wind-up you control face down, and then you special summon one monster from your deck with the same name. Uh, this is mainly good for wind-up rat, because you have rat in the field, so this is later play. You use this effect, monster reborn something, and then you use maintenance to get another rat in, in um, attack position uses effect again so that's one of the really awesome plays you can do with this uh, it doesn't come up too too much but you can do it uh, for some other generic link twos here we got the mrs radiant because a lot of things are uh, earth you have the summon sorceress because it's just overall a good card you have the one decode talker and the borlo dragon to end it off um, if you have a boral sword dragon um, i would definitely recommend taking decode talker out he's just 80 bucks is a little too much for a card uh, for me, so yeah, we're not going to do that. Anyway, the rest of the deck is all Xyz monsters, and we have a very awesome wide variety here. So, first you have your Staller, the Baguska. Uh, not that powerful anymore because of links. So, um, in the Cyber Dragon version, which I will show you in a minute after I'm done with this, um, I'd probably take this guy out. Next you have the number 101, Silent Honor Arc. Uh, it's just a really cool way to get rid of problem monsters. Um, you can also use Nightmare Unicorn, which I have one. It's just in another, de in another deck right now. So, But um, Silent Honor Arc is a pretty cool budget option, I guess. Uh, it doesn't spin. It, it, it um, attaches to it as material. So it's not a unicorn, but it's, like, it's good removal anyway. And then, of course, the Utopia package. So you got Utopia and Utopia the Lightning. Um, it's just really good for having that 5,000 beat stick um, if you're trying to push for game or just getting over a big, a big boy. Next, we have the Tornado Dragon because we are lacking in the back row department. 
Um, if you want to try putting Twin Twister in here, I don't really know what to take out, but uh, you can try it. But um, yeah, Tornado Dragon usually gets the job done. The one Exiton Knight, he is at three now, but I mean, I'm still just playing one because it's like, this card's nuts. And the rank five is the Volcanosaurus. So again, this is really easy to make with your wind-up shark since he be he can become a level five pretty easily. Not only that, but Mike is also a level five. So um, this thing is usually pretty easy to get out. Uh, what it does is you detach material, target a card, or target a monster your opponent controls, you destroy it, and then you deal burn damage equal to its attack. So it's, it's some removal and it's some burn damage, which is really awesome. And then to wrap up the extra deck, we have the Bahamut Shark package. So the one Bahamut Shark and the one totally awesome. This is usually what you want to do during your first turn um, because Bahamut Shark, you, it requires two level four water. And again, Wind Up Shark is level four and he's a water type, so that works. Uh, you detach and then you special summon a rank three or lower um, water. Xyz directly from your extra deck, so that's why Totally Awesome's here. And Totally Awesome is totally awesome. He negates everything. So if you're going first, um, this is probably your best play. All right, that's gonna do it for the extra deck. Now, here is the. I get it's not an engine. It's it's the changes that you would make um, if you're playing Cyber Dragon. So obviously you have your Cyber Dragon. Um, you're going to need your Reproduncus because um, Nova requires that they're machine type. So you have the, the Nova and obviously the um, Infinity. So what I would take out for the Infinity, um, I would probably take these two out, both for Nova and uh, Infinity. And for Reproduncus, I'd probably take out Deco Talker. For the actual Just Cyber Dragons, obviously the... Um, easiest thing to take out would be your Pankratops, but if you don't want to do that because the card is very good, you can also just take out Watch Cat if you want. So, um, yeah, because the they have to they, they they have to be machines, so you can easily special summon your Cyber Dragon, and then if you have um, Mike, basically if you start with this card, you can get into Mike. And Mike is a level five, so these two you can make Nova. But if you can't do that, then your next best bet will be the Wind Up Shark, which you will have to use Reproduncus to make it a machine type, and then you can go into Infinity that way. So, of course, with Cyber Dragon, you um, you can't do that on your first turn, which Infinity is pretty good on your first turn, but you know can't do that. So if if even if you don't want to play. Uh, these guys, you still have ways to get into Infinity. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the deck profile. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And always, we always love when you guys leave your comments, um, giving any feedback or, you know, any positive or negative comments are welcome. So we always appreciate that. And um, if you really did like this, then consider subscribing. It really helps us out because we're almost at 200 subscribers. So um, really, really awesome, and we love you guys and all your support. So again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.